a visitor here. Another car behind them. The uh, unmarked Malibu that stopped out with us, they caught you guys speeding, okay? with some crappy sheets gas in the R8. It's early in the morning, it's about seven o'clock. It's road trip time, baby. I'm waiting for my buddy Mike. I found him, he's been sitting over here the whole time. <laughs> All right, here we are, we got an orange pumpkin and new wrapped M8. Mike is here. You ready? I'm ready, man. It's 700 miles, it yeah, starts yeah, 700 now. 700 miles, we'll be there in an hour. <laughs> first leg, Savannah, Georgia. So this is going to be the first road trip in the R8. It's actually my first road trip ever in a supercar. Going all the way to Miami, and then we're gonna be driving around that area and then going all the way back home. That's about 3,000 miles. Today we're doing 700 miles. Um, I'll film more once uh, <laughs> it's daylight. You guys can't even see me right now, so yeah. Country roads. So we're 156 miles in, and I gotta say, West Virginia and its mountains, especially during the fall, is extremely pretty. Do the play. How's it going, Mike? Good, I just got sprayed by your car. Oh, well, you're welcome. You're well, at least you're wrapped now, half the car. Half the car, yeah, <laughs> when it goes off, it's gonna be more of a mess. <laughs> the crackle machine. West Virginia. Uh oh, uh oh, look what we are blessed with. Long ass tunnel, baby. driver enjoyed it, you know what I mean? I don't know as much about this person. All right, so we are uh, almost in Georgia. We only got about 50 miles left till Savannah. Um, it hasn't really been all that much happening, so this first leg of our little road trip to Miami. Uh, we didn't have all that much action, but we're gonna continue the video tomorrow. Right now, we're sitting in traffic. I think there's been some kind of accident somewhere, but uh, let's do this. Little update here, so 15.3 miles per gallon, that's what I've averaged for 626 miles. You know, and we've been keeping a pretty good pace, like you do, because uh, we have our radios here, Mike has, his in the back there he has a radar detector as well but the car has been great uh, the seats that I was worried about uh, they haven't really been that bad my back is okay that, that was pretty much the only thing I've been worried about in regards to a long road trip in this car because they're pretty stiff but even that's been okay so okay. but while we're sitting in traffic here driving 16 miles per hour I might as well mention uh, our giveaway in case you don't know our 2018 Ford Raptor is up for grabs and all you gotta do is go to autoblog.com. You gotta be living in the 50 continental states of the United States or live in Canada and be of legal age. When you find some cool merch on the site and you pick it up, every dollar spent is 10 entries to win our Ford Raptor. This giveaway is going on till December 12th. Go ahead and secure your entries because our 2018 Ford Raptor could be yours. Autoblog.com. Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the video. It is the next day. We're on our way down to Fort Lauderdale. Now, if you guys have been watching previous videos and so on, Mike and I in his M8 have uh, done some. Uh, you know, a little Mexico pulls. His car is really fast. It's a 750 horsepower M8. He has a tune on it. He has an exhaust on it. When we raced, I, I was able to edge him out like barely uh, most of the runs. I think maybe he got me one run. I can't remember exactly. But now, he says he has his like, you know, he's up to tune or whatever. He doesn't want to say how much power he has or anything like that. It's a bit of a, like a grudge match I guess so he wants to do a few more runs so uh, we'll see when we have an opportunity to do that and uh, see what happens
way here. I don't know how much. It's Carbon 65 Edition. I don't know how much power he has. It's supercharged, though. Mike is driving the uh, R8. That's how I got some nice rollers of it. There is no uh, perception of speed when you're driving this car. I was doing 100. I didn't even know I was doing 100. Felt like I was doing 70. It's just nutty. It's such a difference from driving my car. My car looks so good on the road, though, uh, especially when you pull up next to it here in a roller shot and you see the orange calipers. Damn, that looks good. I love it. The other thing with your car is you don't have to shift until like 8,000 RPM, 8,500, or my car is like 6,500. That's because my car is better than your car, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. running our plates. Yeah, he's pulling up behind me here. He's probably he's running hard. Pull over, I'll come over with you. Alright. So I'm assuming that's... Your left is also a clock. What, the Chevy? The Chevy? Yeah, they're covered. Alright, so I don't know. This cop keeps following us. I haven't really done anything right now, so yeah, we'll see. How are you doing today? Good, how are you, sir? Good, I'm Trooper Smith, Florida Highway Patrol. You got the license registration? Yeah, yeah, sir? yeah. Is that your buddy back there? Yeah. AMG? It's a, uh, yeah, BMW. Uh, Is it AMG or no? A BMW, M car. M car? Yeah. Are you guys transporting? No, no, we're going down to like a charity event in Florida. We're from Pittsburgh. Okay. Yeah. You have an updated in uh, registration? Oh, is that? Hold on. What, the registration is? Yeah, this one's showing expired May 31st. No. Am I reading that wrong? Yeah, so... Yeah, but that can't be because I bought the car in freaking May. So hold on. <laughs> bought a car and then I transferred the plate over. So it, it can't be that it's expired. Okay, let me hang on to that one right there. Okay. Is there a reason you're pulling us over? Or? You know what the speed limit is on the roadway? 70? 70, yes sir. Were you guys racing back there? No. 
We're okay. not racing. We've been driving for a long time. We're just cruising along, sir. That's okay. all. We're not racing. All right, I'll let you look for that. Yeah, see, this is the one that I have. I don't know why it would say expired. Is that the plate you got on there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I bought the car in like all right, beginning of May somewhere. It was out of state, but yeah, that's a. Let yeah. me run it through the system and see what it says. Okay, all right, okay. All right thanks. So apparently my, my registration is not good and I don't understand why it wouldn't be. That's uh, kind of weird. Unless they just sent me a... He's asking me if I know what the speed limit is and I say yes and he asked me if we were racing and I said no, we're just driving down from Pittsburgh uh, and my, my registration says that you know it's, it's like expiry May 31st this year which is weird. I bought the car in May. Okay, so there's a, an undercover Chevy, like Malibu or something, cough as well. So I think that they think that they've seen us drive certain speeds, but I don't know. I don't think that they've, they've shot the speed with radar or whatever, but yeah. I mean, you know, you drive freaking over a thousand miles. You keep a, you know, you keep a nice tempo or whatever, but when Mike and I did those little runs, it wasn't even in Florida. That was in Georgia. So, yeah. We haven't been racing in this state. Undercover cop we passed, he thought we were racing. And we weren't racing. Oh my god, we drive staggered because this car throws up blocks and stuff when it's hard to run. I don't want my front end to get messed up. Yeah, but that's all true. <laughs> that's why I said to him. He's gonna be cool, just let us go. Yeah, we'll see. That's part he said, I pulled you both over. I'm thinking, no, I could have kept going. <laughs> yeah, so he's talking. I mean, obviously, you see that. He's talking to the undercover cop. We'll see what they come up with. Yeah, I mean, if, here's the thing. If I would have kept, kept going, the undercover cop would have probably pulled me over. Did he grab your stuff as well? License and registration, all that? Yeah, I gave it to him. I went to Instagram Live. <laughs> This kind of uh, is confusing to me. I mean, why would I have a registration that's only valid for like a month? Well, Michael, this one's showing expired. Man, that, that's impossible. I bought the car in May. I don't get that. That's, uh, that's what I was thinking. Maybe you had your tags mixed up. No. But I just verified the VIN. And yeah. I ran it through the database. Uh -huh. FCIC, NCIC, which is, you know, inter inter interconnected. Right. And it's showing ex expiration date of 531 of 2021. Okay. You know what? I think I have an explanation for that. Not that it's like an excuse or anything. So I had the plate on another car, which I sold. Okay. So, and then uh, I, I kept the plate, of course, because it was private sale. I went to Ohio. I live in PA. Went to Ohio, bought this car, okay. and, and told them, I want to have this plate, you know, transferred to this car. And they said, no problem. They sent me the registration with the plate on. And I never think of it otherwise. I don't think they renewed it. That's the problem. Okay. So what you're saying is correct. It's, okay. it's expired. All right. So this is what I'm going to do, okay? The area, but can't verify that is a vehicle. The uh, unmarked Malibu that stopped out with us, they caught you guys speeding, okay? Okay. I'm going to give you a, a warning for that, okay? I'm going to give your buddy a warning for that. Let me run him, make sure he's not wanted or anything like that, okay? If he's clear, he's going to have a warning, okay? Okay. Today's going to be a citation for um, expired fine. registration, okay? I'm not going to tow your car, okay? I understand you're trying to get somewhere. Right. All right, it's within the six months. At at the six-month mark, which would be November 31st, Right. it's criminal, right. okay? Right. Your car's going to get towed. You could possibly go to yep. jail, okay? So yep. I'm going to advise you to get to the next safest location. Yep. All right, I'm not going to babysit you. Right. All right? Get no, I next. can just go online on PA's uh, yeah. site and, like, Whatever be you able need to, to print do, out brother, a new okay? one. So, yeah. I'm just advising you, next safest location, get it squared away, okay? Yep, I will. All right, just sit sure. tight for me. Let me get yep. it typed yep. up, all right? Tell you, if you want to call your buddy, tell him to just sit tight, and I'll get him out of here in just a minute, okay? All right, cool. Thank you. All right, he's coming over to talk to you. Uh, we're just getting a warning. Uh, he's going to run your stuff. Make sure you're not uh, a wanted criminal or something like that. <laughs> that guy just pulled up behind me. Yeah, but that's just normal backup, you know what I mean? Like, they always have backup coming. He's checking out your car, though. <laughs> He's standing behind it. <laughs> not here for you, I'm here for the car. Oh, what's that? <laughs> yep. It's clean. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, Gets you in trouble every now and then. Though. All right. 
I just had to look at it real quick. All right. Yeah. Nice Not to meet safe. you, man. Thank you. He's a cool cop. Just want to check the car out. I dig it. I dig it. I would do it too if I was a police officer. And they pull over like, you know, a nice car. I'd check it out. Follow on YouTube and Instagram. <laughs> what, the second cop you mean? Yeah, if you did your post earlier, I'd be like, fuck. <laughs> oh, that'd be hilarious. But he was cool, though. I know you guys, when you came back and go, if we were racing, we'd be going a lot faster. <laughs> hey, you're not wanted for like a horrible crime or anything because he's taking his little time checking your stuff out. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I only killed one person. <laughs> Like a cartel ping, or something. Yeah, that would suck, dude. I'm gonna leave you in the dust. I'm kidding, man. Don't be mad. I'm not. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know if the dash cam picked it up because when the police officer came back, I didn't have this camera on, but in case it didn't pick it up, um, I'm basically getting a fine of $120 and it was an undercover or unmarked Miami Dade police officer in that Chevy Malibu whatever it was that apparently saw us going a certain speed although they didn't like you know get radar or that or whatever and neither did this you know initial police officer that pulled me over so they can't really do anything about it what's confusing to me is that a Miami Dade police officer is up here and it's like 179 miles from where we're going uh, so that's kind of confusing but yeah I just um, I gotta take care of this registration thing and uh, that's about it. All right, Mike, we made it out alive. That was interesting, kind of fun. <laughs> we're almost there, we're in Port St. Louis, we stopped here, we're gonna have some lunch. But anyhow, uh, <laughs> the cops thought we were street racing. Uh, I mean, basically racing on the highway because we're usually in different lanes. And the reason you're in a different lane for me, let's say I'm at point, is because your new wrap has been all eaten up here by like rock chips or whatever. And you know, my car spits up a lot of stuff. Uh, one interesting thing that I've gotten though, look at this. It's supposed to have been flying from somewhere and just like perfectly clipped my grill here. Look at that. This looks like a scratch, but it's probably like bird poop or something. But yeah, we weren't street racing, we, we promise. We actually weren't. We weren't. I mean, we, we did some pools in Mexico, which was the Mexico and Georgia. Yeah. It wasn't even in Florida. It wasn't even in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> the guys were cool though. Yeah, so. those cops were actually really cool. So I like I mean, the one that just came up to see the car after we pulled over. I'm not here, I just want to look at your cars. So. <laughs> yeah, he was cool, but we're gonna grab some lunch and be right back. And we are back. We're actually uh, at our end destination here, Fort Lauderdale. We're uh, right by Los Olas uh, Boulevard or Street, whatever it's called. Weird transition in the video, I know. Uh, I'm in the hotel room here, I've been editing. It was so hectic after that whole thing that I forgot to do an outro. <laughs> so we're doing it from here. But yeah, uh, it was an interesting pullover uh, because apparently that undercover cop had seen us doing a certain speed or whatever. It was not street racing, although they thought we were street racing because we were in different lanes. But they never got us on radar, so you know, the initial police officer said, you know, my hands are tied. I didn't clock you guys at, you know, any illegal speeds whatsoever. So I can't really do anything, but you gotta fix your registration. So that, that's basically where we're at. Yeah, but with that, we're going to end this video. we got a lot more stuff to film uh, these coming days here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a huge thumbs up. If you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already, and you feel like you want to, please subscribe. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.